In this tutorial, we're going to focus on using the data query. Um, this is my classroom for this school year, and the data query is a tool that I've used throughout the year. I am going to use a different account as I'm going through how to use the data query. So there's a lot more functions available on, on this account, but still it will operate the same way. When you click on the data query tab on the left hand side, it's going to give you available fields over here on the left hand. You'll notice that this is um, kind of like tab set up on the left hand side. The fields that I use the most, especially at the beginning of the year, would be students first and last name, maybe their home address. Um, there's oftentimes different addresses associated with students, like it could be the household family, it could be um, a household a second member, uh, same thing with birth dates, transportation, um, and so it may be good to take a look and see if there's anything on this left hand side that you weren't aware that maybe you had access to um, i like to sometimes just kind of open take a look and see like oh i didn't realize that i could and then um you know just kind of think about what i could use this for but specifically in elementary we tend to pull class lists and like i said that birthday transportation information and addresses so that's what i'm going to start with first um, i'm just going to pull the student name and when I type in just student and do a search I see some of the fields that are available for me so like we have first name last name middle name we have um, student numbers student grades uh, anything that you you think that might be interesting for especially in a spreadsheet I like to have spreadsheets that I can print out as well as uh, have electronically just to kind of keep my information straight for my classes especially throughout the year as they may change um, what you'll do is once you find the fields that you want then you can decide okay well I want this first name so I'm just going to drag it over to this uh, second column here I'm going to do first name last name and I also want to on this particular spreadsheet I want the birth date and I know that sometimes it's birth date sometimes it's birth month sometimes it's birth year, whatever that you want to use, then um, grab the one you want and then put it into that, that middle column there. Sometimes though, what will happen is you will grab a, a field that has no information. And so in when you're looking for some of the fields, you may find that they're empty or there's nothing in that. That's easy and it's, um, it's actually, it's good that this data query allows you to see the results as you go. So right now I have my fields. If I go over to the tab that says results, it'll give me a look at what information is in each of those. And if I have any empty, then I can just remove them off and delete them so I don't waste the space. So right now I do have first names, I have last names, and I have birth dates. If I wanted to get, you know, something else, maybe it is, um, I don't know, advanced academic history. I do the results, I look at it, and I realize that, oh, wait, 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 this isn't what I thought it was. I can still go back. I can hold on it, pull it back over into that left hand side and it'll remove it. Once I found what I want for the data that I'm specifically looking at, when I go to the results category, I'm looking for those empty fields. Now I'm ready to export. When you're looking at the results down in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see that you can one, go right to the printing or two, you can go to the exporting. Um, when you export, what I like about the exporting, like I said, is that I can have a, um, a digital document that I can have access to, um, you know, no matter what device I'm using. So I typically have some type of a spreadsheet. I use the Excel 
and then it'll export to wherever I want that location to be. Um, it also, I can update it throughout the year and uh, I really like having that. But I also like to carry around the clipboard or to have, you know, updated list on my clipboard. So printing is also something I, you know, will do. And I would just put uh, a title that's appropriate Typically, I keep it on the grid and I'll have some of the other settings like headings and page numbers available and just print it. So that is how to use the data query, which I find really helpful, especially at the beginning of the year.